Continuing with my SQL server tutorials, uh, we're working with my SQL from the command line. We're logged in. We have a database with a table called users and a list of users. As you can see, we have five of them. Uh, we have their first name, last name, and username. Let's say we want to change it. Like, uh, okay, um, Bob Jones's uh, username has now changed. He isn't B Jones anymore. He's going to be. Um, I don't know. What should his username be? Uh, mouse. Okay, there's a mouse in front of me, so I came up with that. And basically, we're going to use uh, update. Once again, I got to click into my virtual box here. Update. So we're going to be updating information from the users table. And we are going to set, and this is what we're going to change. We're going to change the username. That's the field. Um, and we're going to change it to equal, uh, as I said, mouse. So his username will now be mouse. And we're going to say where. And now we have to say what field, what what uh, entries we're going to change. So we're going to say where, and really I should make that all capital. Although it's not required, it is proper, I believe. Um, so we said we're going to change it for Bob Jones. So we don't want to say um, uh, everyone with the last name Jones because that would say cha change Tom Jones's um, information. Uh, so what we're going to say is where f name equals Bob, and really should put those inside single quotes. So now we're updating our user table. And we're setting the username to mouse if the first name is Bob. So I'll hit, oh, and don't forget our semicolon at the end here. Hit enter. And it says, okay. Now if we select asterisk from users, display everything, you can see that Bob's username is now mouse. Now what happens if there was someone else with the first name Bob? Um, well, that's something we're going to get into in a future tutorial. Uh, first, I, I guess I kind of did things out of order. I want to show you how to uh, do multiple sh search matches for different fields. So um, keep on watching. I'll have that information in a future tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Simply just changing a certain input for a certain user based on field values. Um, Thanks for watching. Visit the links in the description. Filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. I hope that you have a great day.